punk, unk, no punk. With a little short video for you, you know what I'm saying? Let's choke about it. Mm. Let's choke about it, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, fam, this is really going to be about something I had a discussion there about with this other brother, you know what I'm saying? He was talking about segregations and what we should do and we should get away and this and that. I told him, yes, I do agree sometimes what we say for segregation, things like that. I do agree with that sometimes. It depends on um, the geographics of the place you live at. You know what I'm saying? If you got to make sure 50 50, cool. Everyone gets school, you're going to do the same damn thing. But if you're inside of a, a city, a county, wherever it is you're at, and you have a child, and you maybe are like 1% of that county, you better homeschool them. You better homeschool them. Why? Because he's going to go through, through so much mess. Or she going to go through so much mess, be tormented and harassed, you know, inside school. So you got to be careful that, you know, we just kids inside their schools, but you're not seeing them eight hours a day. And we see things that happen inside these other places, kindergartens. They had one little boy who was, um, I think, three years old. He caught an STD. This happened in Georgia, you know what I'm saying, outside Atlanta. Boy caught an STD. He was complaining that when he could go to the bathroom, it hurt. So his grandma saw him and was like, oh, man, damn, took the boy to the hospital. The boy had um, some kind of STD. Three years old. Where did he get this from, huh? Beside the people inside that work, inside these little kindergartens, you know what I'm saying? So the grandma goes to the kindergarten, you know, raising hell, like what's going on. And the people that she know, that she knew for years, not just as workers there, as in the community, they ignored them. Try to know, like, they don't want to get in no trouble. They don't want to be on camera. They don't want to do nothing. They, they concerned what's name about the little boy, you know what I'm saying? Three year old boy with an STD. You got to watch out, you know, these people. We you take your kids to? Damn sure. Damn sure. You know? But I say you can never be 100% sure. But like I say now, people treat, treat their dogs more better than kids. You have now like doggy hotels where the dog owner maybe somewhere in California or Europe somewhere and they could go on their phone and talk and see their dogs at some doggy hotel. Right? That's what they need in every kindergarten. Cameras, every kindergarten, and some kind of app where the families or the guardians, whoever it is, they can um they can view what's going on eight hours a day or whatever how long that work as long as that that, that kids is aside there you know what I'm saying they can see something how what's going on they can call real quick hey what's going on here you know what I'm saying that's the way it should be you can't leave your kids somewhere for eight hours a day and you don't notice people you can do background checks and all that that does not matter. It does not matter. I'm telling you, it does not matter. It's crazy people out there. You know what I'm saying? Not just the kids, fam. We got to make sure we take care of the elderly. You know? If you have elderly parents, grandparents, things like that, aunties, or meet with some elders inside the neighborhood, you know? And inside some kind of, like, called old folks home or things like that, they take care of the elderly. Make a visit on them. Surprise visits pop up on them. Check their well-being. See if they have any kind of bruises on them. You know, check their mental state and things like that, fam. You got to. I say because why? They had two hood rats. Working inside some kind of um place for, for the elderly. They had dementia, you know. And these, they had them downstairs in the basement fighting. They laughing, filming and stuff there. You know what I'm saying? Why they do things like that? I say you got to visit them. Because if they had... Children or spouses, whatever it is, still alive, come visit people, they will let them fight and do things like that. Why? Because they'd they be scared or they might leave bruises and then they might have a visit tomorrow and see that they were like, what's going on here? You know what I'm saying? But a lot of people just left alone inside these um, elderly homes, just left there to rot, left to get on, um, they call it, they lay on the bed, so the bed sores, every damn thing. You know what I'm saying? They don't care. And there's so many documented um, cases of people putting. CCTVs, these um, cameras inside their houses, and they have some kind of suspicion. They feel in their heart that, huh, my loved one is home all day, and they got this nurse here, whatever she is, with them, and I feel that something's happening. Now, they put these little videos inside the house there, tape everything, record it, come back maybe a day later, two days later, and view that stuff there, it's nothing but horror. They got their grandmas, grandmas getting beat by some damn nurse, I'm talking I see some some horror um, videos and shit like that. And it's like, wow, how can someone do something like that? 
won't call itself a call itself a nurse. You no, know, they're certified. They're smiling. You know, like you, so you can you can believe them. Like that's a uh, that's a nurse. She's gonna, she gonna take care of my family. Once you close that goddamn door, Doctor Jekyll and Miss Hyde pops out. Bop bop bop. They beat up the old people. Not feeding them. You know, even, even with little kids. I'm saying babysitters. You cannot trust no one with your loved ones, fam. No one would love us. And especially what kind of family you got, you can't trust your family with your kids. You know what I'm saying? How many cases you said the um, uncles on, on granddaddies touching on their family kids, stuff like that? It's crazy, fam. Who can you trust? Who can you trust? You know what I'm saying? Mm-mm-mm. You can't trust too many people out there. I'll tell you like this here. When I had my son, when he was born, I was no babysitters. If his mom won't go outside, you go, you go. I rest there in my house. I don't trust the brother sisters. He got like um step brother step sister. I don't trust nobody. I'm saying they would do something to him. You're saying it's my mentality. I don't trust nobody with my kid. You know, something happened. My driver he fall down. They would get scared. Say something. They ain't gonna tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? If my son goes on vacation with his mama, somewhere like they go North Africa, they go to Tunisia, they, they they go travel. I don't trust her. I feel something happens at some kind of resort. Something happens, she will come back and tell me the goddamn truth, you know? That's my my fear. You know, something happened, I can't do nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? That's how you cannot trust the people around your kids, man. You can't trust the people around your kids, they old people. Why? Because they're defenseless. They can't do nothing about it. You know? Be the boy kids, these people are sinister. Something real warped to their brains to do that. Because to get the job, they must act nice, have qualifications, but then they'll snap on them and start harassing kids, beating up on kids, things like that, man. Come on. Get out of the Get them cameras. Say, if you want to see your kids with these kitty guards, make sure they got some kind of camera system there with some kind of app, like I said, like they have for these doggy hotels. You know, get that app where you can see your kid walking around, he eating and stuff like that. Because well, another incident that... um. That was somehow videotaped with some other those small preschool in somewhere, I think Roswell, Georgia. What they done was they served the little kids food. When it's time to serve the kids food, they served the white kids their, their food first. And the black and Mexicans, whatever the brother, black kids, whoever left rest over, they eat later, they eat last. This is in America. <laughs> this is still going on in America. People were crazy like that. They heard they found out about it. Somehow they closed the kitty garden down because people know damn well what they was doing there. You know what I'm saying? Man, people like that. So they think they care about your child then? Are they going to feed the little white children first? Are they going to worry about the little black kids? They probably used to get punching bags there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I said, always be careful. Do your background checks. Just do that. Check for criminal records and stuff like that. Do all you can do. But like I say, you are never 100% safe no matter what. You are never 100% safe. If a little kid can go to a kindergarten and come back home with an STD, that's crazy, fam. That's crazy. But like I say, the elderly, they're all defenseless. You know, they have no one there for them. Like I said, make some visits. You know, you might know some elderly lady or elder man that you grew up inside your, your projects, your building, or whatever it is there. You're like, damn, huh? Damn, where, where, where Mr. Abrams at? Oh, Mr. Abrams down there, down, he's inside the elderly home down there on Fordham Road or something like that. Yeah, it's gonna make a checkup on him. You know what I'm saying? Do that, fam. It'll make that person feel real good, too. You know what I'm saying? That someone to come visit them and care. They might think no one care about them. I'm saying rotten, getting harassed, and torture these these some crazy nurses inside this place here. You know what I'm saying? When a familiar face come in, like, yeah, well, I'm here, I'm here, Mr. Abrams. You see, you. You talk to faculty, you know, you look at see he got his sores on, things like that, you let them know. If I come in and see any kind of business, I'm pressing charges on y'all. I'm bringing police to you. Let them know that. Put fear in their heart. Put fear in their heart. Forget respect. Respect, I don't need no respect. Fear is better. Fear is better. Fear is better than love. You know what I'm saying? I mean, fear will last longer than love. You know what I'm saying? You put it in the right place. You do it the right way. You know what I'm saying, fam? Anyway, I'm going to end this Video a little short because I'm cooking right now. I'm making some stuff right now called beef adobo. You know, I first had this beef adobo I was in um, Manila in the Philippines at this little small restaurant. And they gave us some that adobo mouse. After I was hooked on this stuff here, beef adobo, you got beef adobo, chicken adobo, you can fish adobo, you can adobo it up. How you want to say, fam? But like I said, fam, you know, 
Take care of them kids out there. Watch out for the elderly. Check up on the elderly, fam. Even now, this pandemic's going around there. Knock on the elderly. Make sure they're okay, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't seen some of them for like one, two days or two days, just knock on the door. Make sure they're still alive, you understand what I'm saying? Get them some chow, some food. Man, they can't walk to stores, you know what I'm saying? Knock on the door. Let's do back in old days, you know what I'm saying? We just go to store for the old people, you know what I'm saying? Do that now. Even though you're a dog, knock on that door, you know? Bring some water and things like that there, you know? Take care of the family, man. Take care of the family, and I'm out, fam. Peace.